What's going on, Flyboard crew? I decided to make this video because I got some uh, uh, emails, people asking details how I do to recharge my battery. So I decided to make just a video just for that. Um, I'm making this video because, as you know, uh, if you don't take good care of lithium batteries, they prone to deteriorate. Every lithium battery, they will lose at least three to seven percent of its potency of its power every year if you don't take care of them well. So Flyboard doesn't tell you about that, which is it's fine. Um, so I did my own research to make sure they're gonna make my battery last longer uh, and the right procedure to recharge and discharge the batteries. I'm gonna leave that very clear. I'm not an expert on lithium batteries. However, I did a lot of research online. I spoke to a lot of people who understands about lithium battery. And I spoke, of course, to uh, some people from Flyboard. And I came up with this little uh, 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 protocol that I do myself in order to prolong the life of my battery. So I'm gonna tell you in order first uh, how I do my protocol. Then I'm gonna show you in practice how I do that. That helps out my protocol. So we we'll start with one. One, you do not want to run when you're finishing. You do not want to run your battery below 15, 20%. Do not run your battery to the exhaustion. I know that means gonna that means you're gonna have less time riding, but it's worth in the long run. So one, do not run your battery be to, below uh, 20 to 15 percent. Two, make sure your battery cools down a little bit before you recharge it again. You do not want to recharge your battery right away. I understand if you're going for a going for a double session and you want to do that right away, that's fine. But avoid avoid to do that as much as you can. Three, once you recharge your battery. Make sure you will recharge your battery only between 30 to 50 percent max. You do not want to top off your battery right away. So between 30 to 50 percent, which is basically the second blinking light. And I found to be that for the time frame, to between 30 and 50 percent, depending on how much you exhaust your battery, it's about 40 to 45 minutes uh, recharging. Four. Once you finish uh, that cycle of 45 minutes recharging. Do not take your key out of the battery. Leave your magnet key on because what you're doing after you recharge your battery, the cells are in different levels. So by leaving the key on, you will stabilize every cell. So every cell will distribute exactly the same amount of energy. So you're gonna stabilize the battery much better. And finally five, uh, you will top off your battery right before you're gonna go ride. For instance, if you're gonna, if you, left your battery for two, three days uh, resting. Uh, why, why, why don't you get up, plug on, plug on the, the batteries again, and let it top it off until the end, of course, and then leave the key on as well until you go riding. So you wanna top off your battery right before you're gonna go ride, rather than, than uh, top off all at once. So this is set up I have at home. Uh, they recommend not to leave the lithium batteries close to things that can be flammable, such as furnitures or whatnot. Uh, they usually recommend to leave on the floor uh, and a little bit far away from the wall. However, my basement is kind of crowded. So what I do, I leave on the top of the dryer and the washer because this is metal. So if something goes wrong with that, it's not like going to catch the machines on fire. And also, it's too far, the floor will be too far away from the outlet. So here's my setup. I think I told you guys before, I always have a little string, uh, 200 pounds, 300 pounds string that holds the, so that way I don't lose the key. So... Here's what I do. I have both the 2.2 and the 2.0 battery uh, connected to a, a extension. And then they're connected to a, a mechanical timer and then I got this uh, uh, Amazon. So basically I set up to 45 minutes. And right there, 45 minutes and now it's, it's charging. So here's the beauty of it. So the battery is the bar's gonna be charging right now, this is on. So as you turn that on, it turns on the whole system. And when it gets to 45 minutes, it will shut off automatically, which is great because now once that shuts off, it does not send energy or power to the, to the charges, which prevents from surge, anything like that. And the beauty of it is that once that's off at 45 minutes, the key stays on, which it keeps the, the uh, level in the battery. And the beauty, even the best thing is that I don't have to unplug this. So once that turns off, the whole system over here, it's off. And I don't have to come here and unplug this, which prevents wear and tear. So I can just leave it on over here with the magnet on and stabilize the cells, as I mentioned before. 
and um, the next thing I have to do afterwards is come back and top it off the battery uh, for another hour or so. But this is this setup helps me out a lot, saves me a lot of time. Once again, I don't have to look at my clock. Oh, 45 minutes, I gotta go turn off the batteries. That does the whole job by uh, not only the 45 minutes, but also disconnecting the whole thing uh, the, from the power in terms of for you to avoid surges. And once that's done, it's all uh, automatic. You don't have to worry about be coming back and forth. And then you're just ready to go the next day and top off the batteries. Now, of course, if you're gonna ride uh, ride right afterwards when you ride it again, when you do a, do a second recharge, forget about this protocol. You don't have to do the protocol, but then once again, it's not recommended for you to, to be doing that your battery all the time. The battery does need a rest uh, cycle between recharges. But as I said, if you're gonna do a double session, you wanna go in the water, go ahead. But this is more if you're gonna leave your battery uh, resting, especially if you wanna rest uh, for the weekends, and especially if you're gonna rest between uh, the winter to the summer. For instance, I don't ride during the winter and I make sure that my batteries are always resting at 50% uh, uh, percent or so, 33%. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Uh, and if you please have uh, any other ideas, please, by all means, uh, leave a comment below. I hope it's gonna help you out uh, how to prevent your battery to uh, last long and so forth. By all means, leave your comments below because all the ideas that we give to each other, you help out on, on toys to prolong our toys, all right? Be good to each other and I'll see you guys in the water. See ya.